everybody man it has been a while since i filmed a video i'm not even too sure how long it's been several weeks for sure at least um just been super super busy and even though even though this is pretty late i still wanted to film an april favorites video so i could share with you guys the things i've been loving in the month of april so I decided I'm going to start with my favorite blushes this month. I have just been loving blush in general. I've been switching it up almost every day. There are so many blushes I'm in love with and I just can't get enough. So I thought I'd share the ones I've been loving. The first one is from the Balm. It's called an Instain Blush. The color of this is Argyle. Really cute packaging, that's what it looks like. And that's the color there. I showed this in a haul. It's just a really pretty baby pink color. And the cool thing about this blush, I'm just gonna swatch it for you, is that it's actually a staining blush and it's the reason I bought it because I wanted more of a long wearing blush um, and this one goes on really nicely and then it ends up staining your cheeks and stays on for a long long time and it's such a pretty color there it is there so it's a really pretty pink blush so that is one favorite more on the corally orange end this one is from Essence and it's called Kalinka Beauty Blush in the color East Side Story and again in very similar packaging that's the packaging there and it's just more of an orangey orangey peach color I'm gonna call it I'll swatch it for you this one has the other one was matte this one has a little bit of sparkle in it but once it gets on your cheeks you really can't tell so um, that one's in the middle there right there and I think this one will look really especially good with a tan so loving that blush and then the last blush I actually just got recently I got it in in an influencer Vox box and I'm going to be vlogging that next so you guys can see what I received but it was a Mary Kay box that was given to me to review and there was a blush inside and this one is called mineral cheek color and the color is shy blush now, I don't think this is the packaging that it normally comes in I think this is just like the sample blushing although oh good thing that didn't break although like you can see uh, it doesn't stay in but I think that's the full-size blush that's what it looks like there, and I don't think you can really get a true tell of the color of the blush just by looking at it. It reminds me a lot of Orgasm by NARS. It's a, I don't know, a pinky rose tone, but then it's got gold all throughout it, so it's really, really pretty. This one has quite a sheen, so you have to be pretty careful with it um, because it'll make your whole face glowy if you go a little bit overboard with it, but as long as you place it in the right areas, it's so, so pretty. I think it's going to show up on my finger better than my hand, but that's the one right there. Awkward angle. I'll show you on my finger, though. Like I said, such a pretty blush, and it's got gold throughout it, and yeah, I've just been loving blush. When I'm not wearing a blush that already has um, shimmer throughout it, I like to use this highlighter. I've been using this for like the past six weeks or so. Also from the Balm, this is the Mary Luminizer. Really cute packaging. That's what it looks like. Now this highlighter is really intense. This is good for like if you're going out at night, I would say, or if during the day you just want to pull off that super glowy look, uh, this definitely will get it done, but a little goes a very long way. It's a champagne tone, um, and it's not like chunky, it's very smooth, which is why I like it. There it is there on my wrist. It's a really pretty tone, but like I said, you just barely dab your brush in it and you've got super glowy cheeks so one to be careful with but I've been loving that and then moving on to eyeshadows I actually grabbed two products and they're both cream products and what I've mentioned before in a haul but I've been using it tons because I just love this shade it's a Maybelline color tattoo and it's in the color, color caramel cool so I'll zoom in there so you can see the name of it and it's just a really pretty coppery orange color looks really good with green eyes I have green eyes I think this would look really good on blue eyes or even brown eyes it's just a beautiful color especially in um, spring and summer where should I put that I think I actually did a tutorial with this if I did I will link it down below but it's gorgeous there it is on top gorgeous on its own gorgeous as like a base to layer a similar shade on top I've used it as an eyeliner I just think it's beautiful and then in that also in that Mary Kay box that I got last week um, they provided a, another cream eyeshadow it's a very similar color um, so I thought I'd mention it because I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today and I've been liking this one too this one's the color apricot twist comes in very similar packaging look at that and then that's the color there this one's a little bit lighter um, it's an apricot color it's I want to describe this it's gold for sure with like peach in it and I'm not 
not sure what else. Maybe a little bit of orange. It's definitely lighter than the Caramel Cool. And the consistency of it is quite a bit lighter. Like the Maybelline Color Tattoos are pretty thick. This one's very thin and almost has that oily feel to it. But I've used cream eyeshadows before that are oily and don't really have any pigment or staying power or they crease. And this isn't like that. I haven't had any creasing. Pigment shows up pretty good. So I've been happy with it. Where am I going to swatch you? Right there. So that one's on my wrist right there. Try and get it in the light so you can see it. So Caramel Cool's up here. It's much more... Uh, darker it almost looks more pigmented but this one's pigmented that's just actually the color that it is so really really pretty loving those cream eyeshadows I lie there's actually more one more eyeshadow that I wanted to mention this one came in an ipsy bag and I can't remember if it was last month or not although last month's bag was amazing I didn't get a chance to record it for you guys but I hope you watch somebody else who got ipsy because it was a fabulous month and this came in it this is the Elizabeth Mott pop goes the shadow the color is champagne it's just a single it's a champagne color I own a lot of champagne colors but the reason I like this one is because okay it's very smooth very buttery um, very pigmented reasons I like a lot of eyeshadows but it's not too glittery if that makes sense like I have some champagnes like Stila Kitten for example or they have a L'Oreal infallible one that are such beautiful colors but in my opinion, kind of hard to pull off during the day. Um, I mean, I can. It's just like, whoa, sparkle on your eyes. This one, I can just wear all over the lid, and it just gives my lid a really pretty sheen of champagne, if that makes sense. There's the color right there. So you still see the champagne, but it's not like overwhelming. I'm trying to catch it in the light. It's not overwhelming sparkle. So I've been using this almost daily um, when I'm not using those color tattoos. I think it's really pretty. For eyeliner, I've pretty much been using these all month. These are the Stila Stay All Day, uh, what are they called? Waterproof Liquid Eyeliners. I have four colors. They came in a set. A black, a green, a brown, and a blue. Mostly just use black or brown, although I have tried both the blue and green, but mostly just the black and the brown. They're just awesome. Such a fine tip. It's, that's the applicator there. I've used these in the past. They last a really long time. Very black. Don't smudge. And it just makes it really easy to get a sharp, crisp line. So I'll show you the line with it. There's the line there. So very pigmented. And yeah, just been loving them. What else do I have for makeup? Um, concealer that is recently new to me that I already know I'm falling in love with. I've had it for about a week and I don't think I'm going to fall out of love of it out of love of it anytime soon so I'm definitely going to mention it. I've heard tons about it. I'm sure you guys have too but it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I don't typically buy a lot of MAC products but I recently visited a store and this is the probably the number one product I was most interested in. It's a fabulous concealer. It is um, very thin in consistency, but very pigmented. So that's a win. You don't feel like you have like cakey, heavy, creamy product underneath your eyes. You can use it on your face as well. I use it on my eyes and kind of around my nose. Um, and the thing I like the most about it is that it doesn't crease. I want to say, I want a little asterisk. Most concealers crease on me. I don't. I can't think of any concealer that doesn't. I have a lot of little tiny fine lines underneath my eyes, and at some point, it's not like they crease. It's like the concealer settles into a little bit, even when I set it. This one does the best. Very, very minimal. You can't even notice unless you're looking up close in the mirror. On me, I'm sure on any like normal person who doesn't have excessive little tiny lines under there, you wouldn't even notice, or it wouldn't crease on you at all. Is what I'm trying to say. So it's fabulous. I have the color. NW20 and it's a perfect match. It's just a little bit brighter than my skin tone. So I love this. And then a mascara, a mascara I've been liking a lot. It's from Essence and it's the I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. How cute is the packaging? Totally won me over. It's pink and it's cute with a little heart. So really like this. Um, the wand is interesting. It's very Usually I don't like rubber bristle brushes, but I think because they're so short, like very, very short spiky bristles there's even some on the ball end I don't tend to use that but I think it's because they're so short I can get right in there and it does create a lot of volume I wouldn't say it does a lot for length but as far as volume and separating it doesn't clump it does a really good job and it's very black and is this waterproof I don't think it's waterproof but I haven't noticed it you know falling down or anything so that's good and then a last makeup product before I move on to like other random products are lip glosses I got this set of lip gloss 
set of lip glosses off of Haute Look uh, two months ago, I want to say. They're from Lorac. Um, I really didn't realize when I purchased it how itty bitty they were. Look how tiny they are. But it is fun to try out a whole bunch of colors and see if there's one you want to invest the full price in. I think this was $8 all of these so it kind of makes sense that they're so tiny but uh it is fun to play around with them the two colors i've been reaching for the most this one is called groupie and it's like a cool tone baby pink and usually these type of lip glosses at least drugstore ones end up pretty sheer and this one is not so that's why i've been loving it i can put it on and it looks like it had baby pink glossy lips so that's it right there it shows up true to color so that's awesome um, another one I've been really liking is this coral one. When you look at them, like in their tube, they look quite glittery, but on the lips they're not, so that's good. I'll show you that one over here. Obviously the darker colors show up a little bit better, but overall they're pretty darn pigmented. They're not sticky, they're smooth. I wouldn't say they're anything revolutionary, like I, I own a lot of nice lip glosses, but it is fun to play around with the colors, and I don't really have anything quite like this baby pink, so that was fun to play around with. Alright, last couple of things. The first product is a hair tool. This is the Numi Reverse Curling Wand. Um, I've never woo, owned anything from Numi before, but I've heard so many people in my personal life use this and just love it. I've never had the best of luck actually getting curls to stay for very long, so I wanted to try it out. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I did not invest in a curling wand years ago. I just, I wish I would have because I don't know if it's the temperature this gets up to or what it's made of or I don't know why, but I can curl my hair the next day, curls are fine. Even the next day, curls are fine. The curls do not fall out of my hair. I have extensions in my hair and I have regular hair and both my regular fine hair and the extensions hold the curl for three days as long as I've tested out anyway so I love it I love the reverse it creates really cool waves I'd like to get a really big one the 32 millimeter so I can create more loose waves but I'm super impressed with this and I wanted to let you guys know and then another hair product is again something I've heard a lot about this is the it's a 10 miracle leave-in plus keratin treatment it's supposed to do 10 different things for your hair as you can see I use quite a bit of it I'm putting it in my favorites because for some of the 10 things, I think it works really well, but I don't see the results of all 10 things, if that makes sense. The reason I like this primarily is because it is such a good detangler. It detangles your hair so fast, especially after you've curled it and then you washed it and it's all weird and wonky. It'll detangle it so fast and just leave it feeling like silky smooth. But as far as deeply hydrating it, I don't think it does as well as like argon oil or other oils I've used in my hair. So. I don't know. I got it at sale at Nordstrom Rack. I don't know if I'd get it again, but I do really like it for detangling. So that's that. A body product in the shower, shower product. This is a body wash from Caress. It's called Passionate Spell and it smells amazing. I like a lot of body washes. I'm always trying a new one. I heard great things about this one. It's like a very sweet, um, like romantic sweet scent, if that kind of makes sense. Lathers really well, but the reason I'm putting it in my favorites, other than the fact that I love the scent, is because it doesn't break me out. A lot of body washes will um, irritate my back. Sometimes I get kind of like back acne, and this has not been doing that. And it's very inexpensive. They sell it at Target, so that's a win. And then the last product is from Lush. I recently purchased this, and I love it. It's a Lush Fresh Face Mask. They have a whole bunch of different, like, flavors or types of them. This one is called Cosmetic Warrior. It's cleanse and soothe troubled skin with garlic, tea tree, and kaolin. Kaolin? Not sure how to say that. But that's what it looks like. You have to keep this in your fridge. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Lush face mask, but it's made with all fresh ingredients. Um, it's got an expiry on it. It tells you when it's made. I don't know how many uses I'm going to get out of this. I've only used it one time, as you can see, uh, but I loved it enough to put it in my favorites video. So I feel like I'm going to get at least three more uses out of it. And it was only $6.95, so I think that's a really great deal. Um, this one in particular just is so, like the tea tree is just so, I don't know, what's the word? Refreshing and tingly and awakening to the skin. You can just feel it kind of going to work and you can feel it pulling out the impurities and it's just such a smooth product I don't know it just feels really good it left my skin feeling like baby skin afterwards so I'm loving this I'll definitely repurchase and yeah that's a lot of stuff I feel like I haven't like I said made a video in forever so I have a lot to talk about hope you guys are all doing well and I think that's about it thank you so much for watching bye